who wanted to make an inquiry. Can I get a witness? You know, news folk can be awfully snoopy, can I? Can I get a witness? News folk will get in your business. So the news reporter ran up on Peter. Can I get a witness? And when he ran up on Peter, he wanted to know some information because Jesus was now in shown up trouble. Let me tell you what kind of trouble Jesus was in. First of all, rigor mortis had been notified. You can set in now. Jesus is going down. He in a whole lot of trouble. Let me tell you what kind of trouble he's in. All of the mourners, they had paid mourners back then. Kind of like now, folks just show up to get the food. They don't care nothing about who died. Can I get a witness? They just want to get some food. Can I get a witness? They had professional mourners. The professional mourners had been paid and they had left the scene. Can I get a witness? Now the choir had sung their last song. They had been dismissed and they were walking out singing in a soliloquy up song. Must Jesus Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. Now, the corner had to make a report. The corner's report showed that Jesus had died from the cross and he wrote it up real nice so that it might be signed, sealed, and delivered that Jesus might be able to have a report. Now, Golgotha newspaper had written that Jesus was the king of kings and he was the king of the Jews. And because he was the king of the Jews, he had seven last utterances from the cross. But the last he had was, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. I don't forgive him. I got a little drink. No, I didn't even want that stuff on my lips. But I is over now. And he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. And the Golgotha news said he died. Can I get a witness? Now Joseph or Arimathea had a brand new tomb that had never been occupied. They got the tomb for him. Why? Because you got to know something. Jesus had converted Joseph of Arimathea. He became, the Bible said, like one of his disciples. Well, hold up now. Hold up now. It's the same Joseph of Arimathea that sat on the Sanhedrin council that when they came and tried Jesus, they found him guilty. It's the same one. But isn't it amazing how a little dab of Jesus will make you change your mind? Oh, who am I talking to today? The Bible said that the God of the News wrote that there was a kangaroo court. They wrote that it was some mischief and mayhem growing on. They wrote that folk was lying and perpetrating and payoffs. The news wrote that. And the news wrote that the caretakers were notified to come and anoint Jesus because there was no embalming fluid. They didn't embalm their own. Now I come to tell you, isn't it amazing how when they got to Peter, Peter, they stuck the microphone in his mouth and said, Peter, I need you to tell us if Jesus is still alive. And if he's alive, when did he got up? Peter looked like he in shock there. All he said was, mm -hmm. They said, hold on, Peter. Hold on, Peter. Hold on, Peter. Don't run away. Oh, man. Peter, don't run away. So they said, we can probably catch him at the house. Because you know when they caught him at the house, Jesus said, well, Peter had went in. Peter didn't know. As he was in the house, Jesus was going to come walking through the door. I'm not talking about open the door. I'm talking about walk right through the door. Why? Because now he was divine. He had spiritual power. He had power. Well, you got shown up power now. What kind of power? He got all power in heaven and all out in his hand. So Jesus had ease through the door. And when he eased through the door, he knew Thomas was in a disposition. Thomas was a doubting Thomas who didn't believe. You know, some of us doubt because we don't believe Jesus is the son of the living God. Some of us doubt because we don't believe that Jesus got up on resurrection Sunday. But oh, Thomas said, I'm not going to believe until I see the hands myself and thrust my finger in his side. Well, yeah, yeah, well. Bible says Jesus said, come here. Uh -huh. He looked at his hands. Uh -huh. They didn't look new. Uh -huh. They had holes. I'm not talking about see-through holes. I'm talking about they just had marking where you can see he'd been injured. Can I get a witness? Now, he said, now I want you to take your finger and thrust it in my side. Go ahead. You ain't going to hurt me. Because ain't nobody going to hurt me no more. Can I get a witness? 
Ain't hey, nobody gonna hurt when I want to get busted in the side. He said, I believe, I believe, I believe. But you know what? The Gargoth of News was standing out there. And they wanted to interview that man named Peter again. And they stuck the mic in his mouth. They said, Peter, can you tell us if Jesus is in there? Can you tell us if Jesus is up? Can you tell us if Jesus is resurrected? He started off by saying, And so we started with just people up to the mic. We can hear He said, He said, Come on now. Get out, 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 Believe in your heart. Romans say, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus Christ, that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. What about you? The God got the news report. Put the mic in your mouth. What you going to say? Jesus got up. He got up for me. And he got up for you. Why? Because we were destined for hell. And Jesus didn't have to find the way. He said, I'm the way. Keep that alive. No man coming to the Father but by, by me. I'm glad this resurrection Sunday. I'm glad he didn't leave me in the condition I was. I don't know about you all, but I, I'm on my way to hell. I'm talking about hot hell. I'm talking about hot, hot hell where you're burning all day. Hot hell. I don't know about y'all. I know y'all been good. I was going to hell. And all of a sudden, Change happened. Anybody know you destiny's child? I've been saying that for the last three months. That's sticking in my mind so so prevalent more and more. And I'm destiny's child. And now the devil in hell is going to mess up my destiny. Come on now. See, I done put on the whole arm of God. I don't put on the whole arm of God. Anybody here don't put on the whole arm of God? Stand up on your feet if you don't put the whole arm of God on. Anybody here who messing with the devil? Anybody here tired of playing devilish game? Put the whole arm of God. Stand up on your feet. Anybody here have gave all your step to the Lord? You ought to stand up on your feet and give God a high praise right now. Anybody here has changed your mind about sin? Anybody here has gave up your devilish ways and there's a resurrection in you? Anybody here understand? Leave me, man. Yes, God has blessed us children. Are yes, Fathers are coming. Mothers are coming. Yes. Folks are getting married in the church. Yes. The gifts are flourishing. Yes. We're in a different movement now. Yes. Do we make some mistakes? Yes. Sometimes we fall down and we get back up and keep going. Why? Because we're finite creatures. We have stuff happen sometimes. Amen. But you got to learn how to roll, baby. You got to roll with the punches. Get back up. Why? Because we're in the fourth quarter. I don't know who I'm talking to. You're in the fourth quarter. You know what it is about football? The fourth quarter is the last quarter. And you're running out of time. I used to think only old people die. No, God is taking a prayer. The 13 years old, God is snatching babies out of your hand. You got to work while it's day and night coming. When no man can work. Come here today. You want to come give me your hand and guard your heart. You've been looking for the church home. Come on. Come on. This is the right season right now. Come on. That's the one. Come on here. Somebody else, come on. Come on, somebody else. Every Sunday, somebody else, come on. Somebody else, right now. Come give me your hand and grab your heart. Right now, you don't want to talk to me. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You say, well, you know, I need to go back. Uh-huh, children, don't ask mom and daddy. You come. You come right now. Right now, come on, come on, come on. Somebody thinking in their mind right now, you know I've been going where I was doing. I need to come back. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You've been out for 90 days. You need to come on back. Renew yourself. Come on, somebody. Somebody right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stand and get renewed. I would not be out on Broadway trying to find my way home and I'm not finding my way to Jesus. Somebody else, come on, come on. The Bible says the little children shall be there. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody else. Bless you. 
Somebody else, somebody else.